Hey, what's up everybody? The Indianapolis Colts just wrapped up day number seven of training camp. Uh, it was another fully padded practice. It was also another day where they had a huge list of guys out for maintenance. Uh, some of the following guys are actually dealing with some ailments, but for the most part, this is just kind of load management. Uh, the guys out today were Andrew Luck, of course. Uh, Braden Smith was out again today. Jack Doyle, Jabal Sheard, Justin Houston, Eric Ebron, Anthony Costanzo, Devin Funches, Ryan Kelly, Paris Campbell, Dion Kane, Penny Hart, Jordan Wilkins, Ben Banigou, Ross Travis, and Danico Autry. Uh, obviously, with that many guys off, that means the guys behind them on the depth chart uh, seeing a lot more reps with the first, second, and third teams, respectively. Uh, a couple guys that were back in the lineup today after missing some recent time. Kamoko Toure, who is dealing with a shoulder injury. Also, Margus Hunt, T.Y. Hilton, and tight end Billy Brown. Uh, the rookie the rookie defenders, with the exception of Banigou, who of course was out again, uh, they've been seeing a lot more increased snaps with the, the first team. Uh, specifically, EJ Speed today opened up the day again as the Sam linebacker. We've been seeing that a lot. Uh, him, Anthony Walker at Mike, and Darius Leonard at Will. Um, how significant that is, we don't know, but uh, perhaps he's a little farther along in his development than we thought he might have been at this point. Uh, Okariki really, really stood out today. He got some first team reps at Mike uh, when he was with the second and third teams, also Mike. Um, he, he's picking up things pretty quickly. He looks like he's getting a little more comfortable. Uh, he was thumping out there today uh, in the the one on one drills uh, with you know they, they were pass rushing and the the running backs were blocking him. Uh, he looked really powerful out there. Uh, looked really strong. Uh, in my opinion, that could be a deciding factor when it comes to how many reps he's getting. If if he's looking like a a really powerful pass rusher. Uh, when he is sent on a blitz as a Mike linebacker. That could be a deciding factor, so keep an eye on that. Uh, then Kari Willis continues to earn some first-team reps at strong safety alongside Malik Hooker. Uh, Clayton Gathers typically begins the day at strong safety like he normally would, uh, but then in the later portions of 11-on-11s, 11 Willis comes in. Uh, when the Colts go to their dime defense, it's normally Malik Hooker and Kari Willis back deep. Clayton Gathers goes up as one of the up backs, kind of in the slot. And then Rockison, of course, um, the Colts' first pick in, in this recent draft. Uh, he's getting some first team reps at corner as well. In general, it's kind of tough to crack that rotation because the Colts already have such stout guys in Pierre Desir, Kenny Moore, and Quincy Wilson. Sorry, checking for the sprinklers, making sure they're not coming my way. Um, going to be tough to crack for Rock, uh, but something the Colts did do today was uh, the last, you know, maybe 15 or, or 10, 15 minutes of practice, they worked on their uh, two-minute drill. Yeah, I'm getting a little wet here. Um, so Rocky Sin was actually one of the corners in their two-minute drill. Damn it. Escape in here some more. All right. Uh, so Rocky Sin was one of the, the wide corners today along with Quincy Wilson. Woo. We're going to avoid these sprinklers one way or another today, guys. Don't worry. Uh, so th that's obviously a big responsibility to be out there with the first unit and uh, to be kind of out there on an island. Sort of, if maybe not the prevent defense, a wide open defense as a rookie corner. So... Uh, Rock is earning some some very respectable reps out there. <clears throat> uh, some of today's standouts uh, in the early portion of 11 on 11s, T.Y. Hilton. If you, you might have saw me tweet this, he he got a, a whole day's worth of plays made just in the early portion of 11 on 11s. Uh, had a, a couple big chunk plays down the left side from Jacoby Brissett, roughly 30 to 40 yards each. Um, pretty typical T.Y. Hilton stuff. Uh, we also saw Reese Fountain. Um, you've seen me mention him the last couple days. He probably had he he probably had the play of the day overall today, but also maybe the best play I've ever seen him make. Uh, I was in the two minute drill. Uh, Philip Walker, quarterback Philip Walker, was working down the field, 
and hit Fountain from maybe 20, 25 yards out. Uh, Fountain had to make kind of a leaping catch, get his feet down the end zone, huge play to put a punctuation on the two minute drill. Uh, Kamoko Toure in his return, didn't get a ton of first team reps. I think they're probably easing him back uh, just from coming back from his, his shoulder issue. But in the one-on-one -on -one pass rushing drills, he just he just always looks so good, so smooth. He, he's got a lot of moves in his belt. Uh, Alquadi Muhammad is, is sort of the same thing there. Doesn't get talked about enough uh, just because, you know, everyone wants to talk about uh, Ture and Ben Banigou, Justin Houston, you know, the, those new young guys. Muhammad has come along in his own right. Uh, he's someone to definitely keep an eye on. I think the Colts like him a lot. Uh, Bob, Bobby Okariki, like we mentioned, he was a hard hitter today. Looked great in those pass rushing drills also. Uh, Quentin Nelson, uh, you may have heard about some some losses he's had in the one-on-one -on -one pass rushing drills. Uh, I, I think that makes things, they, they're not really how they seem because in a game, the offensive line is working as a unit. You're not going to see guys really one-on-one -on -one like that. There's so much more strategy that goes into it. So yes, Quentin has had some losses like every other one of the offensive linemen had. But today was probably his best day in those drills. Uh, didn't lose any of them. Went in and, and handled his guy almost with ease. And he wasn't working against the lower level guys either. Uh, Jihad Ward is a very talented pass rusher uh, from the interior. And, and Quentin handled him pretty well today as well. Um, the first team defense was really stingy today. Uh, there was a lot of red zone work done, and the first team defense didn't allow any touchdowns. There was several plays made. Um, guys like uh, Malik Hooker, Pierre Desir, Grover Stewart, Tyquan Lewis, and Nate Hairston all were out there making plays uh, in the red zone portion for the defense. Uh, again, first team defense didn't allow any touchdowns, and, and the second and third teams maybe only allowed one or two true touchdowns. So really good work by the defense today. Uh, the great one, Adam Vinatieri, uh, of course he was clutch today. Uh, in the in just the field goal drills earlier, he was, uh, he was I believe, five of seven, uh, missed a couple wide left, uh, hit his 50 plusers, of course. Uh, but then once they got into the two-minute drills at the end of practice and they were setting up, you know, for game-winning or game-tying field goals, he was a perfect two for two. Uh, hit a 23-yarder, and I think his other one was from about uh, 40 yards. So uh, once again, no surprise, Adam Vinatieri coming in to the clutch for the offense. Uh, that is it for today. The Colts will be off tomorrow, but then pick things back up on Saturday. Uh, go ahead, follow us along on Colts.com, as well as me on Twitter, at JakeArthurNFL. Uh, and please be sure to uh, like and follow along on this channel. Uh, please subscribe. I uh, should get notifications anytime these videos come out. Uh, so thanks again for following along. Have a great day.